Hey guys, what's up? I hope your day is going swimmingly. I'm actually going home right now because I went to the pharmacy to buy some medicines. And as you know, pharmacy or drugstore is actually an American English, but a British English counterpart for that could be chemist or chemist shop. Well, I don't know actually why they use the same language but they use different words so we're going to talk about that today we're going to um, learn the differences uh, between American English and British English vocabulary so stay with me until the end of this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet now is your chance to hit that subscribe button also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will get notified with my new uploads let's go let's go so I'm almost home and can you see that building um, we're living in one of the apartments there in American English it's called an apartment but in British English it's called a flat so on the upper flat since we're living in the upper floor of this apartment building I need to take this thing it's called elevator in American English but it is called a lift in British English so we're gonna take it to go up Oh, it's hot. So in the elevator, you press some numbers and they indicate the floors. In American English, first floor is actually first floor. But in British English, it's ground floor. And this is the tricky part. The first floor in British English is the second floor in American English so if you go to the UK you will not be confused so I'm home and I'm gonna show you just a snippet of my new house while we're learning some vocabulary differences between American English and British English so this is our mini bedroom so in our bathroom, there's this thing called a closet in American English, but a wardrobe in British English. So I don't want to show you what's inside. It's quite messy. But yeah, this is called a closet in American English, but a wardrobe in British English. So in our bedroom, we're using this thing and this is called a shade or window shade in American English but it is called roller blinds in British English. Roll up blinds. Yeah. So you roll it actually. When the sun is out, we roll it up. When the sun is um, there, we roll it down. So again, this is a shade or a window shade in American English, but a roller blind in British English. It's a pretty common thing here in Turkey to have this part of the house. Yes, um, after going out, when we came home, we arrived home, we make sure to wash our hands here. This thing that you see, this whole thing, is called a sink in American English but it's called wash basin in British English so you wash your hands here and this one you open it this is called a faucet in American English but it's called tap in British English so again this whole thing is called sink in American English, wash basin in British English. This thing where you um, use to wash your hands 
This one again is called faucet in American English, but a tap in British English. This is our restroom or our bathroom. Yes. And in American English, it's called restroom or bathroom. But in British English, it's called toilet or informally or in British slang, they say loo. Again, this thing, this place in your house is called a restroom or a bathroom in American English, but toilet or loo in British English. So we're now in our kitchen and it's got uh, dishes to wash. And here we have this thing. You use this to cook something, to boil something, to fry or whatever. Generally, we use this thing for cooking. And this is called stove in American English. Again, it's a stove in American English. But in British English, they say cooker. This is a cooker in British English. Again, it's a stove in American English and a cooker in British English. And there is something here. Um, a very typical Turkish household has a small um, garbage bin <laughs> beside the sink. So this is a garbage bin and a garbage bin is how they call it in American English, but a rubbish bin in British English. So we throw our garbage here. The thing that you throw is called garbage in American English, but a rubbish in British English. All right, so we're now in our living room and you can see this thing mostly in the living room of your house. This thing where I'm sitting on right now is called a couch or a sofa in American English, but it's called a sofa or sometimes settee in British English. So yes, you can sit here and relax, watch um, television. By the way, um, TV or television is how they call it in American English, but a tele in British English. And I'm going to show you something more. Actually, I have here my um, precious bag. <laughs> yes, I rarely use this one. I bought this one last year when I first came here in Turkey. And I supposed to just bring this to China to just use it there. But yes, I rarely use this. Like I just use it probably once or twice because of lockdowns so I cannot go out to you know use this bag when I go out I often use um, backpacks yes it's easier for me I actually heard that Americans call it backpack but it's common to call it rucksack in British English correct me if I'm wrong but um, when I see some books they always always some um, call it rucksack in British English just like books that are published by Oxford or Cambridge yeah rucksack so comment down below and correct me if I'm wrong yeah now let's see what's inside this bag I'm so excited so let's start with this one of course um, it's essential for me um, I work using my phone in American English, this is called a cell phone, but in British English, it's called mobile phone. Yes, I have my phone here. All right, let's see some more. And of course, I'm a teacher. I have this thing. Okay, this is an eraser. And in American English, they call it eraser, but in British English, it's called rubber. Rubber. Wow. <laughs> so you use it to erase something. Eraser in American English, but rubber in British English. What else do I have? I have a lot of stuff. Okay, let's go here. Wow, I have this stuff right here. 
All right, this is a set actually. And yes, I have it. And I'm getting ready for it because the weather is getting cooler. So this thing is called pajamas in American English. But in British English, it's called pajamas. There's no much difference in pronunciation. It's just that they differ in spelling. Pajamas is how they uh, spell it in American English. It's just P-A-J-A-M-A-S. But in British English, it's pajamas. It's like P-Y-J-A-M-A-S. Yes, the short term for pajamas is just PJs. So if you don't want to get confused, just use PJs. So I have pajamas here. And I also have this thing. It's um, pants. I have pants. Pants is how they call it in American English, but trousers in British English. Why do I have pants here? So what else do I have here? I have this thing. Mm, getting ready for autumn. I have a sweater. And a sweater is in American English, but a jumper or pullover in British English. So yes, yeah, sweater is how they call it in American English and pullover or jumper in British English. All right, cool. Have a lot of stuff right here. I have this notebook um, just to tell you. I'm writing my um, schedule down here. Yes, it's important for me because I don't have a stable um, time. So I wrote down my schedule here in my notebook. A schedule is an American English, but in British English, they call it a timetable. Timetable in British English and schedule in American English. All right, wow, lots of stuff. Okay, I know you love this. Everyone loves this thing right here. Can you see that? Okay. So, this one is called potato chips in American English, but crisps in British English. Ah, probably everyone loves crisps or potato chips. All right, what else do I have here? I also have this one. I have a sweet tooth and I love desserts. I love sweets. So, this one, is actually um, cookies. In American English, it is called cookies, but in British English, it's called biscuits. Yes, biscuits. That's how they call it in British English. And also, I love food. I have got lots of food here. We have another one. Hmm, what's inside? Let's see. Candies. So, I have some candies here since I have a sweet tooth. I have candies here. Candies are American English, but sweets in British English. So I love sweets and candies. Yep. And wow, I have this thing right here. I normally just drink this like in the evening when I feel bloated. So this is soda. And in American English, it's called soda. But fizzy drink in British English. Again, this is a soda and it's how they call it in American English, but a fizzy drink in British English. Okay. Oh, interesting. This is the last thing in my bag. And I don't know why it is here. <laughs> All right, I have this thing. <laughs> this one is an eggplant. Eggplant. And an eggplant is an American English eggplant. But in British English, it's called in a really different way. It is called 
aubergine. Aubergine. Yes. I'm not sure how why they call it that way. But yes, this is eggplant in American English, but aubergine in British English. All right, so there you have it. Lots of stuff, lots of things to share with you guys. And I hope you found this lesson fun and learned a lot of vocabulary differences between American English and British English. Comment down below what you think about this lesson. I would love to see them. Let's chat on the comment section. And also don't forget to hit thumbs up Share this video with your friends who want to learn English and please subscribe to my channel so you can learn when and how to use your English. See you soon on my next video.